Okay. All right. So thank you, everybody, for, for joining. Uh, obviously, today we're going to be talking about doing some reporting with PowerView. Um, a lot of you guys said that you, we had a, a large number of people in the in poll there say they either had no experience with PowerView or they were more of a, a beginner level with PowerView. So uh, the interesting part of that is that PowerView is actually a, a very, very easy tool to use. So most of you guys that, that say you're probably in the beginner level uh, probably are more advanced PowerView users than, than you even realize. So we're going we're gonna to walk through some examples today, show you some of the functionality of PowerView. Um, and if you guys have any, any questions on some of the, the deeper functionality or maybe some uh, stuff that you guys think that you'd like to see uh, the product do but you're not sure if it can do, uh, hopefully I'll be able to answer some of those questions for you towards the end. I don't have any information on like roadmap for PowerView or anything like that. So I can't really tell you guys, obviously, uh, whether something that you're trying to do is going to be in there in the future. But if it's something that you're looking to do but can't figure out how to do it, um, it may just be uh, that I could tell you a, kind of a workaround for, for what you're looking to do there. So we'll get to some of the questions towards the end of the webinar here. Uh, a couple of little facts about myself, real facts about Brad. Uh, I work here, actually not all these are even accurate, but I do work here at Pragmatic Works. I'm a consultant trainer. Um, I blog on my website, which was on my previous slide, and I'll put that up there at the end as well. Any questions that we have in the webinar today that I don't get to answer, uh, we'll uh, I'll post the questions and the answers to those on my blog at the end of uh, the day here. <clears throat> uh, I also write on write a couple of SQL Server books here and there, and I do a lot of speaking events around the country. So, all right. So let's talk about PowerView. So we'll talk about how to how to get started with PowerView, kind of what the tool is, and then get you guys in and show you actually how to use PowerView in a real world situation. So I'll show you guys some examples in a variety of tools and then tell you some of the functionality that it's got as well. <clears throat> so this whole week we're talking about we're talking about self-service BI on the on our free webinars. So um, on Monday you guys already heard about uh, Power Pivot. So Power Pivot is kind of the, the central point at the, at right now with the whole Power BI. So we've got Power Pivot, we've got things called Power Map and Power Query, Power Query being the, the one I believe Devin showed you guys yesterday. Um, lots of different tools in there, all to be able to, to bring this data in, put it into a format that's reportable, and then actually build some presentation layer on top of it. So <clears throat> the piece that, that Brian showed you guys on Monday was with Power Pivot was really that data extraction piece. So we've got to pull the data from someplace in order to do some reporting off of it. The really cool thing about really the, the whole self-service BI revolution that, that Microsoft has been, been pushing is that we don't have to necessarily go to a data warehouse to get all of our data any longer. Um, there's a lot of different places where we can pull data in from and using Power Pivot and Power Query are both really great ways to, to do that. So with Power, Power Pivot, we're going to go out, or Power Query, we're going to go out and we're going to extract our data that could be from a data warehouse if you'd like. That could be from just a, um, a standard operational data store that's not necessarily in a dimensional model format. It could be directly from your transactional systems. You could pull data off the web. So Power Query is great at scraping data off the web to go out to maybe pull in uh, sporting events data or weather data or census data, those kind of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out, we're going to extract that data, and then we're going to pull it in, and we're going to model it. And that's also another thing that you're going to do inside Power Pivot. So, uh, so Brian probably showed you guys how to go in and create relationships. You know, we're not going to we're not going to rehash all the Power Pivot pieces today since that's already been done. If you guys are curious about that, all of our webinars are online. Just go back and watch the one uh, from Monday where where Brian talked about uh, talked about Power Pivot. But you're going to put all that data together and you're going to set the foundation for what we're going to talk about today. And today we're going to talk about this whole data presentation layer. So we've got all of our data. We have it inside of a, we have it inside of a, a Power Pivot workbook. We've already set up all the relationships. We've already laid the groundwork. And today we're going to show you how to actually build some reports off of that. Ultimately, PowerView is a portion of reporting services. So you'll see there's a, a couple of different flavors of reporting services that we'll talk about here. Uh, the one we're going to focus on today, obviously, is the one on the far right, 
but you have your standard reporting services where you do your development inside of Visual Studio. That's the one probably most people out there today are familiar with. So you go out, you build a report, it's, it creates an RDL, and then you deploy that RDL out to a report server, whether that's um, a standard uh, report server that's just running in native mode, or potentially even a SharePoint environment. So we can deploy reports out to a, an instance of reporting services running in SharePoint integrated mode. The next step there, the next version of, of reporting services, if you will, is something called Report Builder. So uh, most people who have done regular reporting services development over there inside that Visual Studio environment have at least heard of Report Builder. So Report Builder was really developed to be more of an end user tool. It has some stripped down functionality compared to what you get inside reporting services. But it's out there for your power users to go out and create their own reports. It has more of an office kind of a feel to it so that users are a little bit more comfortable with it. So it's, it was kind of meant to, to bridge the gap between end users and actual developers. But what you'll find a lot of times is that most of your end users aren't necessarily going to be comfortable in Report Builder. There's still some, some need to go out and write queries. There's still the need to understand, uh, have a deep understanding of how those tables are, are related in the background because usually there's a lot of tables involved. Um, so it's not necessarily as end user as people would, would like it to be. <clears throat> That's where we come in to PowerView. So PowerView is 100% designed for your end users. What you guys are going to see today is absolutely no queries being written. Everything is going to be point and click. It's going to be drag and drop. And it's going to be very, very quick and easy to, to create reports. The trade-off that you get here, though, is you have a little bit less functionality with PowerView as far as customization goes. So if I need to, in reporting services, if I need to move something to the left or to the right 10 pixels, or if I need to make something a very specific shade of green to match my company logo, I can do those kind of things. I do not have those same, uh, that same level of flexibility over here in PowerView. It really is designed for your end users to be the, the sole user of that product. It's not to say developers don't go out there and create these reports, but it was really developed for those end users to be able to, uh, to, be able to, to develop reports here. <clears throat> 